Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin this repair, make sure the engine has cooled. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug or plugs. Then disconnect the cables from the battery, black first, then red. Now loosen the air filter cover knob and pull the cover off. Remove the screws to release the regulator rectifier. Now remove the retaining bolts securing the blower housing. And pull the housing off. Next, unsnap the grass shield and remove. Use a socket to remove the screws securing the fan assembly. And pull the assembly off. Next, you will need to stabilize the flywheel. You can use a strap wrench to do this. Have an assistant hold the flywheel in place, then position a socket on the retaining bolt and strike it with a hammer to loosen. This will probably require some effort. Remove the bolt and washer. Now use a puller to detach the flywheel from the shaft. Remove the puller and the strap wrench. You will now need to remove the ignition coil. Remove the bolts securing the coil and move the coil out of the way. Now lift the flywheel off. Next, remove the stator wires from the regulator rectifier. Now remove the screw to release the wire retainer and slide the stator wires out of it. Use a socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the stator. And pull the old stator out. Install the new stator by aligning it on the engine block and securing the mounting bolts. Slide the wire retainer over the stator wires. Route the wires through the engine block. Then secure the retainer with the screw. Depending on your model, you may have to shorten the stator wires and splice on the provided connectors, or simply bundle the wires and secure with a zip tie. Reconnect the wire connectors to the regulator rectifier. Now reposition the flywheel by aligning the slot in the flywheel with the flywheel key and sliding it onto the crankshaft. Reinsert the retaining bolt and washer and torque to manufacturer specifications. Now reposition the ignition coil and insert the mounting bolts. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolts. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the bolts to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolts and remove the business card. Replace the fan assembly and secure the screws. 
Snap the grass shield back into place. Reposition the blower housing. And secure the retaining bolts. Align the regulator rectifier on the blower housing, along with the grounding wire, if applicable, and secure with the mounting screws. Replace the air filter cover and tighten the cover knob. You can now reconnect the battery cables, red first, then black. Finally, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug or plugs.